Hey friends and welcome back and welcome back to your weekly recap video. Today is Thursday, March the 24th and it is the end of the week so that means it is time to take a moment and look back over our shopping list making sure we grab all the deals that we wanted to grab the quantity of products we wanted to grab to see if there are any new deals that may have popped up or any deals that we want to take advantage of yet again. So I am here to give you guys a rundown and then also share with you what I am doing at the end of this week to get ready for next week's deals. As I tell you guys all the time, what you do in the current sales week will affect how your deals go in the next sales week. So we don't coupon just for today. We coupon for today, tomorrow, and a few days ahead, a week ahead, so on and so forth. So for anyone that is new here, hi and welcome. My name is Michelle. And in this community, we are cash-based couponers. What that means exactly is that we are focused on the amount of cash that come out of our pocket with each and every transaction. We are not necessarily focused on getting any one item for just a dollar. We want the entire transaction to cost a dollar. Cash-based couponing is where it's at. Couponing is meant to save us money, not have us spending a ton of money every single transaction, every single week, and so on. So if that is something that you are interested in learning how to do cash-based couponing, especially at the drugstores, then you are in the right place, my friend. Take a moment to hit the red subscribe button, select the notification bell, and check all. That way you're notified each and every time I upload a video. Also, make sure you follow me either on Instagram and or on Facebook and check the community tab here often as I do post in real time any new deals, coupons, rebates, or anything else that you may need to be aware of. Also, make sure you're always checking the pinned comment on each one of my videos. The pinned comment is the very first comment in the comment section and it literally says pinned comment and it's pinned by me. In the pinned comment, I dump my brain. I'll leave you guys a ton of information, a ton of resources, links, and so on to help you along your couponing journey. And if there's anything that I failed to mention in the current video or anything I need to elaborate on, I will always put it in the pinned comment for you. All right, so with that being said, one thing that we like to do here in this community for those of you that are new here is again at the end of the week, we take a moment and just go back over our shopping list to make sure that we grab all the deals that we want us to get to see whether or not we need to hold on to any coupons for the new sales week or if we should go ahead and use those coupons up, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to go over a few um, a few deals here and I'm going to also share what I will be doing at the end of this week today being Thursday and Friday or rather Saturday because Friday she won't be couponing at all. Anyways, to get myself ready for the upcoming week. Now, first off, we're getting ready to go into a new month of deals at Walgreens. So Saturday, which is the 26th, is the last day of the month for Walgreens this month. So any monthly deals that you may want to take advantage of again, you have until Saturday to do so. Monthly deals that I can think of off the top of my head is going to be the cosmetics and accessories. Buy two and get one for free. Several different um, brands are included. That's going to end on Saturday. We have the Spin 20, get 10 back on the Nivea and the Eucerin. It's both part of the same promotion. And that's going to end on Saturday as well. We don't have any more manufactured coupons. They did expire last weekend. However, if you wanted to double dip on it and you have register rewards, it's a really good option, a good deal to roll your register rewards into Walgreens Cash. And again, that's the Nivea Lotion and the Eucerin Lotion. Spend 20 and get $10 back in Walgreens Cash. Um, another monthly deal or well monthly deal we have the IBC booklet so those coupons will also end on Saturday and right now we do have a four off two on the Cedarfield not sure if we're going to be getting a new coupon for Cedarfield for the new month which starts on Sunday however if you wanted to go ahead and take advantage of Cedarfield if you still have some more of those buy one get one coupons or maybe printable coupons 
then you want to take advantage of it this week using the sale buy one get one half the coupons you have and then the store coupon as well um, and then we did have a ton of monthly deals on grocery items things that were buy one get one free um, like cereal pop toys that I could think of we had some pantry staples like um, honey sugar I think and a few other things nonetheless there are some monthly deals that are still good until Saturday if you want to take advantage of those okay so moving on from there now while we're talking about the cedar field so looking at the ad for next week by the way if you did not know the ad does go live on Tuesday nights like midnight basically Wednesday morning so you can see the new ad on the walgreens.com or if you use the flip app you can see the ad through um, the flip app so see the feel this week is buy one get one half we have the four off two IVC coupon and then we have the insert coupon for buy one get one free or a printable coupon if you have that next month starting on Sunday see the feel is going to be buy one get one half and then part of a promotion for a spin 20 and get back a five dollar in-store reward now there are a ton of other items that's included a ton of other brands that's included in that promotion looking at the ad for next week again spend 20 get five um, store reward so that tells me it's going to be a store register reward now i'm quite surprised it's not walgreens cash quite surprised but again the ad hasn't actually started yet so it could be who knows walgreens you know it's an upside down world maybe they have a misprint i kind of wish it was walgreens cash coming back for spending 20 getting five versus a store register reward but that's just me it's a good deal though but that's just me nonetheless um there are several different products that's going to be included in this promotion again spend 20 get five but i'm telling you about the cedar field because it will be included and if you still have the buy one get one free coupons or any printables you may want to save a few coupons for next week as well now if this is in fact producing a register reward then we can freely use walgreens cash to pay without worrying about meeting the spend requirement with the coupons, manufactured register rewards, or cash out of pocket. You just have to purchase up to $20 to get back the $5 in store rewards. But we'll get to that in another video. Just note to self, you may want to save some of the Cedar Field coupons. All right, um, another deal, I mentioned already the, the makeup is buy two get one free that's going to end on saturday that was a month long deal the airwick um warmers they are buy one get one half and then we have the buy one get one free coupon they're coming out to like two dollars and change this week next week looking at the ad it doesn't show that they're going to be buy one get one half so i'm assuming they're going to be regular price so i would get them this week if you have any more of the insert coupons or a digital for the Airwick, I will go ahead and get it this week um, and using up some of those coupons. Now, I did do the math, assuming that we would get a paper coupon for 20% off or even another digital for 15% off or what have you. It still comes out cheaper this week for the Airwick because they're like seven, seven seventy nine or something, regular price, seven, four, I don't know, they're expensive, like $8 regular price. So what i'm saying is with the air whip they're buy one get one half this week it's a better deal next week not sure if they're going to be buy one get one half or on any type of uh, reduced sale nonetheless i would use my coupons this week that's all i'm saying now i will tell you guys because i am extra and i'm extreme i got I don't, I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging. But I got a, I got a torrent of those Airwick coupons. I'm not bragging. I did um, message a local friend here, a local subscriber, like, girl, you need some of these because it ain't no way. First of all, the stoves ain't got a lot of products. So I can't, I can't use them all. Like, I can't, I can't. But anyways, moving on. Okay, so the big razors. The big razors this week are buy one, get one, half off, buy two, get $2 back in Walgreens cash. We have a digital coupon for six off of two, and then we have an I bought a rebate if you still have that rebate available. I would go ahead and grab it this week. That coupon does expire on Saturday, I believe. 
I didn't check, but I do believe it expires on Saturday. So if you haven't done the big razor deal yet, I would go ahead and do it this week. Grab the $2 in Walgreens cash coming back for it, and then grab the iBottle rebate as well. Next week, the ad is showing that we will be having, that we will have the big on sale for $5.99 each, but it doesn't show anything coming back if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, big razors this week. Um, Nexus. Nexus this week is spend 20 and get $10 back in Walgreens cash and it's regular price. We have the $5 off one insert coupons as well as digital. The insert coupons expire on Saturday. So I would go ahead if you wanted to grab Nexus again and you have the coupons, I would grab it this week. Next week, Nexus will be 25% off and then it's going to be part of the spend 20 get a five dollar store registrable board back and again right now we're thinking it's a store registrable board i'm hoping honestly that it's a misprint i'm really hoping and it is actually walgreens cash i'm i doubt that it is because as i'm thinking about it i've seen the promotion like all over the ad so it's probably a store registrable board Anyways, Nexus will be 25% off. However, we won't have any insert coupons. We may get some um, printable coupons. We did get new digitals this week. So if you didn't use your digitals, you would have those to use. But of course, you can always just use a manufactured register reward if you decide to get Nexus next week. But this week, it is a better deal with the spend 20 $5 coupons and getting $10 back in Walgreens cash. So Nexus is another one. Then we have um, the Gillette. So we have the Gillette Little Outer Shaves, the Foam Shaving Cream Gel. They are buy one, get one half. And then on promotion for when you buy two, you get back a $4 register award. That has been a week long, no, that has been a month long promotion on that. And it looks like we're gonna have that promotion rolling for next month as well, or at least next week. Looking at the ad, we do have another promotion for buy one, get one half, buy two, and get back the $4 register reward. So hopefully that's a month long deal as well for next month because it's a really, really good deal. A cheap little filler item to throw into transactions and then you're getting back that $4 register reward that you can then use for other deals, transactions, and so on. So that is that. Um, And I think that's really it. Makeup, Airwick, um, Gillette, Big Razors, Colgate. I didn't mention the Colgate. However, if you still have your digital coupons for Colgate, you can work in a few different ways. You can utilize the digital to grab the register reward deal for Colgate by two, price at $2.99, and get back the $4 register reward. And it's a manufacturer reward. Then you can take that reward, use that as your coupon, and buy the Colgate that's giving you back Walgreens cash. They're $3.99, buy two, get back $5 in Walgreens cash. The $4 register reward that you earn from the first set of Colgate, that could become your coupon for your second set. Or if you have insert coupons, you can utilize that. It's just a way to, to roll your money, getting more product in the middle of doing so. I personally am going to be picking up the Colgate and getting the register reward and then holding that register reward for next week's deal. So that becomes my coupon for any other transactions that I do next week, any other deal. So just a thought there. And then vice versa, if you want to use the digital to grab the um, Walgreens cash first, you could do that and then use the Walgreens cash to pay for the um, the Colgate is giving you back the register rewards. If I've never mentioned this before, there are so many ways to slice and dice a deal at the Walgreens. It really is. Once you understand the foundation and what be going on, it's butter, baby. It's butter. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think I cover everything that was on my little notes here that I wanted to cover um, if you guys have questions about anything I know I kind of ran through this but if you have questions about anything don't hesitate to ask in the comments below I will answer you as soon as possible if I don't there's someone else 
in the community here will definitely answer you as well with that being said definitely comment down below and let me know what your favorite deal for this week was what was your favorite deal this week what deal did you kill and do on repeat hashtag deals are always on repeat at the walgreens so comment down below and let me know that as always thanks very much for watching definitely be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you have not done so already and until next time happy coupon